Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, girl on the ridge in our happy, happy place on a Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately, everybody around me is sick, so I just said, just lock me in my room. I'll be happy. So I have a couple sets that I put on Etsy, and I am definitely on lace overload. So if you don't like lace, you will not like these items. So what I made, and I dug into all my Esme's Crafty Me Shop. Um, beautiful, beautiful laces. And what I made, this ties with a, um, see, just seam binding, is a journal cover memory book type book. What it is, is a 9 by 6 journal cover. And uh, it's a separate journal. And you can set things in there. I made these before. It's 9 by 6, just the book itself. It's made, this is a vintage canvas material. It's gorgeous. I have one big piece left. It's nice and thick. And then I know this is from France. Um, oh, some are new, some are used. So it's all kinds. Like I said, I dipped into all my good stuff. And so that's, that's almost so long. And it just drapes down. And then in the inside, like I said, this... This is a um, just a let's see, 10, 20, 40 page blank journal. It's all been crinkled and bent and just just for um, writing. And then I glued a snippet on the cover, and that just kind of sets in. And so when you're done, you can take it out, still use the cover, and just put some blank pages together. Whether if you journal by month, every couple months, whatever, you know, I want to do that. So that comes with that. And it, this is glued down. This is like four packets. And again, this is more of the beautiful lace. This is a little matchbox. I always say matchbox. Match booklet. They tell me I glue it down. I ripped the first page off out of um, library card. So that goes in the first little packet. And then there's just a little notebook. That goes in the second packet. Now what inspired me to do this was um, my mom. This is her birthday month along with my aunt. And my mom was 51 when she passed away, and my aunt was 53. They died close together. And it'll be 27 years for my mom, 25 for my aunt. They loved lace. So I'm going to make one of these for me and put pictures of my mom and my aunt and probably make one for my cousin. But I wanted to just to play around just to get the feel of it. And, to, you know, you can put pictures in it. I mean, this would be really nice to pass down to somebody. Because I know in our family, we're getting um, down there for memories. Who remembers what and who adds to things. <laughs> and then this one is a handmade. I made this um, little. No, I did not make that because I wouldn't have put that in there. The CD envelope with a die cut this is um a die cut from england i even left the little things on it so you get one of that so this is like i said this is listed and that goes in the top pocket and then you could put something else in there and then the snippet like i said i glued that down just the, the colors are just so pretty and then this, this I just make it tie so it kind of goes in the middle with the bow or the bow. But oh, the laces just make me feel so good. Make me feel good anyway. Then the envelope that comes with it. This was made out of a clasp envelope and it has all your laces and it trims. And in here is a. Kind of like a snippet, and it's just two um, flashcards 
with paper on it. And then on the back, there's just a little envelope with a big piece of a um, journaling card. So you can use this as a bookmarker. You can take it apart if you want. Use it as a little journaling, whatever you want. And that fits in here. So that is the first set. Look at they just glitter. They're so pretty. And the second set is <clears throat> same kind of envelope. And again, just tons of just wedding dresses and laces and I still in frame. Yep. Laces. And this oh velcro. That doesn't go with it. <laughs> That's how I lose things. More laces on the back. And this opens up, and this is your little journal. Same thing, 40 pages front to back. Um, rip pages, just a lot of, all, all coffee dyed. With a snippet that is glued to the front page. So that's your little booklet. And in here is um, another, just the little match booklet. And I also used a lot of rusty nails. You'll see them, the rusty nails. Rusty, um pins because I was clean and I found them so I really have to use them the little notebook lip with lace and this one has a little diff this has all different stuff this is a um, uh, just a vintage material this I think is new lace and it just a, a little envelope, and there's another little um, rusty pin on it with some pink lace, rosettes, some sari silk, or chiffon ribbon. That's, yeah. And that's just a little envelope. And the third, no, I'm not going to try to stick that in there. And then this one is the seed packet with another piece graphic from England like a um, die cut and you'll get that in the window so there is those in all these little pockets that one's hard to fit in but I can fit it in there and the booklet, like I said, the booklet is the same. And then this one, naturally, it's always got to be one. This is the envelope. This is vintage um, material. It was a placemat that I coffee dyed. Um, just some lace, old uh, vintage music paper. And this is new, but I just inked it up with a little antique linen lace, a wedding dress. And then this opens up, and naturally this doesn't fit in it. It's about an inch too short. And then there's the music paper. And this is the snippet. Again, it was made with the flashcards, but I think I sewed this. The other one I sewed a little on the end. I had more of the uh, material um, sewn on, so that's why that fit, because they were both the same size. And then this is just more paper. And then this is a big piece of ephemera from Utica, New York, where my grandparents grew up. It was gifted to me. And those, obviously those are copies. So that is your snippet. So this is the second set. So this is, like I said, memory, something to pass down or something for you to keep. So that is it for now. I got to go make lunch. Well, actually Sunday dinner. Just a quick macaroni and pasta. And I will be back. We'll see you soon. Bye.